big hi guys welcome to my channel now i'm prepared shepherd pie and i'm cutting my tomato my potatoes right now I already have the water on the stove um, ready to go. Now I'm done with cutting the potatoes. I'm adding the salt and the water and adding the potatoes now. Cook the potatoes like maybe 15 to 20 minutes. I have my onion, my tomatoes, carrots, thyme, rosemary, and my black pepper. I have my olive oil, my red wine. I have the ground beef, cheese, and you're going to need two eggs. Now I'm ready to prepare the the ground beef I'm adding olive oil in the pan right now maybe two teaspoons I have my garlic, fresh garlic. Guys, it smells so good. Now I'm adding the ground beef. Now I'm done adding all the beef. I'm just going to make sure it's well cooked. Now I'm adding the pepper, my black pepper. That's rosemary. And thyme. And just mix it all together. Now it's done, so I'm pouring it in a bowl so I can get the tomatoes and the onion and the red wine ready. Then I'm going to mix everything together. A little bit more olive oil in the pan.
This is the onion. I add the onion first because I like the to get the flavor out of it before I put add up the tomatoes. Just a little bit more olive oil. Now I add the tomatoes and the red wine and a little bit of salt. So now I'm adding the meat back into the pan. Now I'm giving a little taste. Now I'm gonna add the Creole seasoning, like a teaspoon. And cayenne pepper with a little kick. And add a little bit more seasoning. And just mix it all together. Now it's done, so now I'm gonna work with the potato right now. I'm adding the cheese. You can use any cheese on your preference, but I love this blend, so that's the blend that I use. Now I just add the eggs, it's two eggs. Just mix it up real good so you don't even have to see the, see the eggs at all. I love to use fresh potatoes. I do not like to use the one in the box. I feel like it's more tasty. 
when you use this is the ending I'm adding cheese on top now if you have a big family this is a perfect meal you can prepare for them now I'm adding a little bit more cheese because I like a lot of cheese Now ready to put it in the oven. To 350 degrees. And I'm gonna leave it there for 15 minutes and this is the finished touch. I hope you guys enjoy my video.